Hey everybody, Wanna Weeze them here. We got Skyliner's Battlecast action back for you. I've actually recorded free spins and free packs. I don't know if I'll have that ahead of this after it's uh, not at all. I'm not exactly sure. If you've got any ideas, let me know. Uh, again, that's just basically I don't have time to play the game uh, per se recording, and yet I want to make sure I maximize our chances with the free spins and the free cards. So you'd basically just be missing me getting free stuff and if you're interested in seeing that let me know that said let's go ahead and hit the free spin icon this is something you will want to do every single day is free spin every five days of your uh consecutive spinning you'll get the super spin which we've covered so let's go ahead and see what we get here Alright, so we got a can of kelp, restore 50 health to Washbuckler, give him plus 50 power this turn. That's a pretty decent card, we just don't have Washbuckler uh, <laughs> yet in this game. So uh, let's go ahead and back out of here. Now you're not done with the free spin again, even if you don't have time to play around, you don't feel like it, always make sure you do these two things, the free spin and go to shop and get your free pack. Uh, the free pack will always have three cards. And that's that's worthwhile, in my opinion. So, uh, ride the wave, swap in a sideline ally. It attacks the active enemy. Amplifier, amplif, yeah, amplifier. Uh, while owner is active, you and your allies get plus twenty spell damage. And lastly, burning rubber. Uh, it's a spell card. Bash a frontline enemy for forty damage. This card costs three less. If you've already played a spell this turn. So that's an interesting dynamic I have never seen before. So there we go, and I believe we are ready to do some advanced training. Uh, at least I think that's what it's called, if I'm remembering correctly from the iPad version. Alright, so we're going to hit play. And we are going to go to story. Uh, this will also unlock versus mode. advanced training for when you're ready to learn more of the secrets to becoming the ultimate battle caster. Okay, so I tried to pull the phone away from the microphone. We'll see. I'm still kind of testing all this out, but let's go ahead and do our advanced training here. So, uh, let's see here. This is going to be about gear. You can equip your characters with gear that gear that make them stronger. Let's try it. Okay, so here we go. Depending on the length of this, I'll either break it down or just have it all together. We'll just kind of see how it goes. Welcome to advanced battle caster training. First, you need to gear up. You can play gear on your characters to make them more effective. Try Cog of War on for size. All right, so we are going to play Cog of War plus ten power plus forty max health. All right, so we will showcase that now. And as you can see, we've got uh, Cog of War there. And so now we have no energy crystals, but we are up in the power department. Got a nice punch coming from the trigger happy. When I played this on the iPad, it made me miss the trolls so much. <laughs> They're a wonderful group of people. Uh, you can swap if you're so inclined. We'll just keep it simple and end the turn. All right, so he played Ghost Swords, and then hits us, and One way to deal with gear is to it. Use break to get rid of so here we go. Uh, I think we have to do this, but this will destroy an enemy gear or relic. So we're gonna hold that over the troll, release, and say bye bye to the Ghost Swords. So we've still got our turn here, and Triggs will hit the hardest out of our three characters. We'll hammer him, 
Uh, I guess we'll just leave him in. I mean, I might ordinarily pull him, but uh, we'll see. Maybe he can level up or something. All right. Okay, so what we're going to do here, hot pants, at the end of the owner's turn, afflict it for 20 damage. Let's go ahead and slap that over the welder troll. We will do just that. Uh, troll welder. Oh, I wish they would make these cards. Oh, that would be a totally sweet dynamic. Uh, I don't know. I still hope this takes off and they continue to do this sort of a stuff. Maybe adjusting price points or something. But if you could set this up where you could have, like, you know, the Skylander deck and the Villain deck. Ooh, that would be so cool. Uh, anyway, here you got the Troll. I want to read this. Hammer out. Give Troll Wilder plus 10 power until the end of the turn. And right here, Hot Pants at the end of the turn deal 20 damage. You can see that is there. And he lost the Sky Iron Shield. So... Uh, we're going to go ahead and again, Trigger Happy hits the hardest, so we will attack. We actually have one energy, but we can't do anything with it. And he's down to 120. That said, we're going to hit in turn, and then uh, we shall see Hot Pants working in our favor here soon. My apologies about the crystal bonus being covered, but it does say it at the top middle, if you haven't noticed that yet. Ooh. Now check this out. Here it comes. Hmm. Alright, well, that's all nice, Buzz, but I'm going to go ahead and shoot this guy because Trigger Happy hits hardest. Or does he? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Well, uh, oh well. <laughs> so we'll switch to Spyro. And let's see here. Plus 20 spell damage, so that will apply to the hot pants, I believe. And we can't do anything else, so we're going to end our turn. And he's sitting at 60. Check it out. I don't guess I quite understand. The hot pants don't seem to be doing anything. <laughs> so, uh, when I have them, they always work. At the end of my turn, deal 20 damage to me. It's not done that, either time. Uh, that's what I was waiting for, and it hadn't really happened. So, Now, note, you could just switch to trigger happy and decimate the troll, you'd win. But randomly blast your enemies for 140 if an enemy is dealt 40 more damage this way destroy its gear so we'll just go ahead and play the spell card for kind of more of a cool win ordinarily you'd want to be leery of that because you would actually kind of want hot pants to stay if you weren't going to kill the enemy <laughs> you know uh, since it is negative but i didn't really see it ever deduct the 20 there so anyway we got our win Alright, and as you can see, that basically counts. Since none of our three Skylanders died, each one would register a win there is what that's reflective of. Say Spyro would have been killed, I think he has like an X or he's faded out, I can't quite remember which, but... Got plus ten coins, not much, but it will, every little bit helps, you know. Uh, let's go ahead and do the Relic mission now. We'll just string all three of these together. So Relic, some cards create magical objects that help your Skylanders win battles. Let's see how. Benefit your team. They also have health and can be attacked by enemies. Try playing 
All right, so we're gonna throw that down. We got the one energy crystal, crystal necessary, not crystal. Uh, this will watch the 20, 1, 200, 150, and 150 across the top of our enemy trio there. As long as this is active, you're going to see... Alright, so let's go ahead and attack. Uh, Hex actually hits highest out of the box. And I read their health instead of their uh, hit points last time, but we'll end our turn. Note, though, that her health is lower, so you'll want to keep tabs on that. Okay, so before we do that, we've got Weaken. Afflict the enemy for 40 damage. Give it negative 40 power until your next turn. That'll pretty much neutralize Sheep Creep, so we're going to go ahead and do that. And now, what we're going to do, since we got 40 damage in that way, we're actually going to do as Buzz suggested and take out the Relic. So, uh, we are done here. We'll just stay put. <laughs> Note that that did nothing. Okay, so Arcane Prism, uh, shock a random enemy for 40. That would be beneficial here, so let's uh, swap it out as suggested. And what we are going to do now is take 60 off of Sheep Creep, but we should do shock damage to a random enemy. So uh, note 150, 150, and we'll have 50 here. Right. <laughs> Is this going to work? When you play a spell. Oh, okay. I'm very tired and this is awkward, so you'll have to forgive me. But we'll just end our turn. Energy crystals can be unpredictable. Can be unpredictable. This time you didn't get one. Fortunately, neither did your enemy. Oh, he's up to 10. We're taking a beating here. <laughs> Alright, so if we play the spell, we'll get the random shock damage. Note this is 3. We've got 3. It is a spell. Uh, that has to be Spyro. Bash an enemy character for 80. Give it negative 80. Let's see if we can just throw that out. Oh, you have to literally have Spyro there. So let's go ahead and have a Hex attack and kill a Sheep Creep. And now I want to swap to Spyro. And we're going to play our spell. So we got that, and then note the shock damage from the relic. Uh, it basically stays up front with your active character. Uh, so we had uh, the... Dive damage, and then again, negative 40 shock damage from our arcane prism. So we'll end our turn. You got two crystals this time. Note they're unpredictable. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's a good looking card they just played. All right, so let's think about this. We've got five energy crystals. We can play anything we've got. Plus 20 power, plus 70 max health. That would be gear. We don't want to do that. Spell, randomly shock your enemies for 120 damage. Let's do that. That's going to KO the frontline chompy. And then we're going to have 40 more from the arcane prism. Let's actually throw that on this one. Okay, I thought it would be between both. Wasn't sure. So, 
he's basically wrecked. We'll just finish him off with Spyro here, and that will be that. So as you can see, Relic's pretty big deal, you know. And again, all three characters survive, all three credited with a win, and plus ten quans. This is such an uncomfortable position. Uh, my back <laughs> hurts very badly. Alright, so now this is ranking, and that's what I've been waiting to happen during that session, and I guess that's why it didn't happen. So, your characters can attack, gain XP, and grow in power. Buzz will show us how, so let's go ahead and get rolling here. This will be a good test of the video length for me to see, because uh, I think sessions are usually 15 to 25 minutes. <laughs> All right. Note chaos goes first. <laughs> All right, so we got two crystals here. And when an ally attacks, give it plus 10 max health. That would be beneficial. Uh, can't play that yet. Can't play that. Blast a random enemy. Okay, let's go ahead. Mm, I, I guess we'll do this. We'll stick with the training, if you will. So we'll play the relic. And uh, note she's at 160. Each time you play a card, your active character earns one experience point. Or as us professionals say, XP. After three XP, the character will move up to rank two. Higher rank characters get stronger and gain new abilities. Okay, so that will be important, particularly your character ability. But let's go ahead and attack. And what we're going to do now is swap out with Spyro, just because he's double the health of Stealth Elf. So now we'll end our turn. Uh, Chaos does hit pretty hard, you know, but should be okay. <laughs> this reminds me of the SSA days, man. You know, with our uh, shadow means. Right. So, what we're going to do is check out our options. Afflict the active enemy for 40. Give it negative 40 in power until your next end. That's actually pretty beneficial. So we can play both of these. Let's do that. That'll level up Spyro. So we're going to hit him with this. And that was a cool skull animation I didn't remember. And then right here we can play this and blast him for 50. So that'll be sweet. And now we will actually attack... Uh, the thing with the abilities is they do cost energy crystals, so blast each enemy for 10 damage. It doesn't seem like much, but it's one of those deals, if you have a deck and you're getting bad cards or you don't have level cards like I didn't on the iPad for forever, these little character abilities, as you unlock them, become very beneficial, and it's always a good idea to spend up your energy crystals instead of leaving some on the table, so they can be used in that regard. But I think we'll just go ahead and end it here. See what chaos can do to us. <laughs> Note he was weak from our uh, spell. Alright, let's see if we get a good card here. Oh, alright, that's gonna play out beautifully. Alright, so spell randomly shock your enemies for 120. Let's throw that bad boy down. <laughs> and note we have one energy crystal less, and you'd be like, oh man, we can't play, you know, the spell or anything, you know, and then you're like, oh wait, we have a character ability. So it's only 10 damage, but hey, 10, 10 is 10, right? So we're going to do that, and then... Alright, 
<laughs> All right, so now we'll just go ahead. We could technically swap out here, um, but I guess we could. Yeah, let's do it. Let's swap out. Let's get Hex in the action here. So we're going to do that, and we'll gain plus 10 here over Spyro. And then we'll have her in place for her personal card there. So we'll end our turn. The later you go, obviously the more energy crystals your enemies get, and they can do some pretty impressive stuff, which that led in beautifully to that, didn't it? <laughs> Alright, so... It's like we're a step ahead of Buzz, isn't it? <laughs> so, at the end of the next enemy turn, afflict an enemy for 70 damage. That'll be pretty cool. So let's play that bad boy. And then, let's take advantage of this. Oh. Hmm. Uh, right here, we're going to play Bat Attack. Active ally drains 40 health from an enemy character, so you should drop to 210. And note that we also gain that, so that's important. It's easy to miss that if you're not paying attention. Uh, we now got level 2 with Hex, so we can play Witch's Curse, and we're going to do that with negative 10. That'll bring him down to 200. Keep in mind, we still have the spell Jinxed working against him. And we're not done yet, though. We're going to hit him with 60 damage. It's a brutal, I know, but hey, it's so much fun. And insult to injury. No, 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 I guess we'll leave Hex. We'll leave her. So let's end our turn. Watch, he's at 140. <laughs> oh, is that not going to do it? Oh, there it went, there it went. All right. Did we get zero, zero? Okay. So he is down to 140. And let's see. What is this that he has? The Noxious Firebrand, your enemies can't gain health. Huh. I don't think he had the 70 damage dealt to him, did he? Oh, well. Uh, let's think here. Can we play this without her? I don't think we can. We can't. Okay. Oh, that's going to be really good. So, let's see. I'm going to try it in this order. We're going to have Hex attack at 60. <clears throat> Probably could have taken out the Relic, you know. But now we're going to swap her <clears throat> for Spyro. Wait. Uh, three, four... Yeah, let's play this. Let's play this. <laughs> That's so drawn out. Okay, so now we'll swap for Spyro. Not too concerned about us not gaining health. Look, we've still got five crystals here. And so we're going to bash that. <laughs> oh, that's the end. Okay, well. We had that built up to be pretty impressive. But... Alright, so there we are. We're going to tap here. And again, all three characters survive. All three are credited with the victory. And plus 500. That is significant. That will get you some cool stuff. Lots of, you know, bonus spins, free spins. Uh, you can pick up, you know, the top end cards available each day. So. Uh, worthwhile to do it. We completed a quest, which was a complete advanced training. Oh, hey, we got a pack of cards. I forgot about that. So we got the Sky Iron Shield. That's going to be cool. Oh, oh, oh. We got Lightning Strike. Shock a frontline enemy for 110. That'll be five energy crystals. <clears throat> Bladed Bracers, plus 20 power, plus 70 max health. Uh, is that Countdown? Who is that? 
Oh, Rollerball. Okay. I've got the phone way far away trying to not get the game audio in the microphone this time. Blast each and turn way down. Blast each enemy for 30 damage, swapping a random sideline ally. Oh, yeah, max level card there. Uh, swap in a random sideline enemy, crush the active enemy for 10 damage. That seems insignificant, but when you get down to like two enemies, one of them's really low and the AI has swapped out for their higher health one, that'll be very useful. Uh, gear Vanishing Cloak. At the end of your turn, if owner is active, swap it out for your healthiest sideline ally. Smash hit spell, fault assault, crush each enemy for 30 damage, KO each enemy with 50 or less health. That's pretty spicy for a yeah, level 3 card there. Oh, we got an epic. It's Disco Brawl. <laughs> she looks so cool. Slice the healthiest enemy character for 30 damage. Repeat this twice. Swap in the last enemy damage this way. I'll have to see that to fully understand it, but that is a nice card right there. So, uh, note it's purple down there at the bottom, and then, you know, that one's blue. Uh, I think they tend to go in order. Not 100% sure, but uh, we are done there. That is a pretty nice little deck of seven, I have to say. And we are ready to begin the Fire Realm stuff, but we're not going to do that here. This is about 30 minutes now, so we're actually going to back up. We have money now, which we haven't had in this. Uh, today's quest, get three wins, that'll get us 500. Play 10 gear cards, that'll get us 70. And get three wins in versus mode, which again is unlocked. However, let's hop into the shop. <clears throat> Losing my voice now. Hmm. <laughs> Should we do it? That's a good question. Now, the eight card booster pack, it'll include one epic or ultimate in every pack, two rare cards, and a chance for gold <clears throat> and silver versions. Um, featured cards are right there. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do this. This will round out the video. So to buy it, <clears throat> you actually need to click the 500 in green down there, not the actual deck or anything. Alright, so we got Fireball, Blast an Enemy for 90 damage. Am I frozen? <laughs> uh, yeah, <clears throat> I am frozen down, not me literally, but the game. Uh, my voice is going out really fast, but the game seems to be frozen. <laughs> so, uh, I guess I will end this recording and uh, we'll maybe see what we get. I don't know how to handle this, really. That said, I hope you are enjoying and My apologies about the voice again. I'm still testing this stuff out. And I'm trying to determine where to position the phone in relation to the microphone and me in relation to the phone and the mic, etc. So uh, I think this may work. I'll check it in editing, but it's just super uncomfortable. <laughs> so, and it's still frozen down, sadly. That said, wannaweasem.com is my personal website. Make sure you're following me on Twitch and Twitter. Uh, you can like me on Facebook, circle me on Google Plus as well. Be sure to check out the Skylander Club forum, skylanderclub.com. P.S. We have a battle cast section. That's right. Take advantage of it. Uh, that said, this is super uncomfortable and my back is like cringing, locking down type of a thing. Just like the game here, actually. So I'm going to move on and I hope y'all enjoyed. Leave a comment or a like if you did and I will catch you back for more Skylanders battle cast action. <laughs>